Hey, I'm James. I'm the next gen director here at Bethel. Last Sunday, I saw someone wearing a great sweatshirt and on it said, grace upon grace, which comes directly from John chapter one, verse 16. From his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. It's a saying you're probably familiar with and it's a wonderful saying, but it's an incredible reality that we live in. That as God's people, we have truly been given grace upon grace. Now, I love this message for me. It means I am forgiven, I am given grace. But it could be a hard message to believe for others. To those who disagree with us, to those who we find ourselves on the receiving end of their ridicule or their slander. To those who are far from God. To those who claim to be near to God, but are actually far from Him. Even for them, there is grace upon grace. No sin is bigger than God's grace. I say it this way at high school, you can't out sin God. You simply aren't that powerful. God is and will continue to be stronger, bigger, more powerful than any sin. It is the reality we live in and that we praise God for. And what struck me about the text this week is how deeply Paul lives this. He shares with such vulnerability and detail in Acts 22. He openly talks about imprisoning people, beating people, going as far to say that the first martyr, the first person who died for Christ was this guy Stephen, died at Paul's feet. He says, standing by, approving, watching over the garments of those who killed him. Paul clearly says, this is what I've done. It's an incredible narrative that someone has been so forgiven of their sin, so covered in grace that they can talk about their past, their sin with such openness and point solely to the goodness of God. Look at what a savior we have that even I would be welcomed into his kingdom. And Paul talking so openly about this, about the grace he has received, he's not simply telling his story with vulnerability but he's sharing so deeply, proclaims that there is grace upon grace for anyone that would follow Christ. Anyone. This is the message he preaches to his captors and his potential torturers. The message isn't the Lord will smite you for your sins or God will forgive you, but I never will. His message is Christ and him crucified. Grace upon grace. Not simply for Paul or for me or for you, but to them and to all. And so let me leave you with this ask. Who is the Lord prompting you to have grace with? Would you first pray for a deepening and understanding of God's grace towards you and me and power to show grace upon grace to others?